I knew this was coming. This is potentially the start of terrible things to come. Think about it. Don't you think there was enough of a red flag from suddenly using PlayStation Plus to charge for multiplayer when we used to be so happy by accepting the games? Now we have the Drive Club situation. Think about it. You have 20% of the game available for PlayStation Plus, right? And with a $50 fee, you upgrade to the full experience. But, unlike the retail version, you need your Plus subscription to keep the whole game. Let alone just the multiplayer and the retail version. This is dirty. Because I pay $60 for a game. It's bad enough I need to pay an, ad an additional 50 a year just to play online. You know, the other half of my game. But this... Just $10 less, but I need to keep my subscription for all 100% of my game? Oh, thankfully there are some people making a petition about this right now. Why now? Honestly, it's a good thing, but... So many of you should have seen this coming. But instead, you supported this and bashed guys like me that made a big stink about this in the first place. So the question is, who are you guys? Are you the ones that are finally going to rise up against this crap? Or are you the guys that are going to say that this is okay and it might not happen to other teams in the future, but you know they will? How many of you guys didn't support this from the beginning, requiring plus for, for uh, multiplayer? And how many of you flip-flopped and only bashed Microsoft when it did it? But praise Sony for doing the same thing. Which are you guys? Where do you stand? What's wrong? Just gonna bash me again? Instead of looking at yourselves? <laughs>